acorn woodpecker. There's a bunch of them over there. A lot of good birds today. What's up guys, welcome to another episode. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about one of my new favorite things, especially for wildlife and uh, just hiking photography in general, and that would be this guy. So this is the Cotton Carrier uh, Scout, I believe it's called. Oh my God, do you guys hear that? Sorry about the cicadas. So they are going ballistic and that is just a downfall of New Mexico and probably the Southwest in general. But let's go, there's another place I'm gonna go over to right over here. Cause also right behind me is a giant thunderstorm cloud. Yeah. Yeah, let's go find some shelter and get away from these cicadas. All right. Much better. Found a picnic table with a covered roof. Got nice views of the impending thunderstorms heading right towards us. <laughs> that is jumping right on the other side of that mountain. On the upside though, it makes the 90 to 100 degree weather drop down a little bit. So anyways, well, let's get back to what we're talking about. Cotton Carrier Scout. So Cotton Carrier sent this to me, asked me to try it out, asked me what I think. So this is just a uh, forewarning heads up. This is not a sponsored video. They're not paying me to say anything. Everything that I'm saying is my own thoughts. So I told them, sure, I'd love to check it out. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about what the heck this thing is and who I think it's for and how I'm using it personally. So I guess we can start by taking it off so you guys can see a, a better shot of it. So it's basically like a little chest vesty thing. That sounds really weird, but uh, it's actually quite functional. So the first thing that I love about this is definitely the comfort level of it. I just, from looking at it online, it was kind of hard to tell. Uh, you mean, you could tell how it sits on you, but it was kind of hard to tell how it would actually feel. And it just didn't look like it would maybe be that comfortable. But I have to say they did a really good job with the padding and all that. And I love the thickness of this strap. So that's one of the biggest things is a lot of the weight is still gonna be on your shoulder, although because of the way it's harnessed, it's gonna transfer to your chest. And having this wide strap and having this uh, big, huge pad, especially when I'm carrying something like this with my big 400, um, it just, it makes all the difference in the world for somebody who has a lot of neck problems, back problems, shoulder problems. If you're one of those people like me, then this definitely is a great uh, feeling weightlifting system. So also I wanna mention that um, I don't think I'm really using this how it was designed for. And what I mean by that is, although the actual case, the actual carry clippy thing right here, although that and this system that it comes with, uh, the actual metal clippy thing, those are extremely strong. Uh, and they say that they can carry like my 1DX2, which I have tested it out a little bit with, uh, and it can, and I'm not at all worried about this stuff. The only thing is that this Scout model, I don't think it's really uh, designed to handle this much weight, and by this much, I mean I've got a 5D4 with a 1 to 400, it's quite heavy, uh, and it does, it does pull down a little bit, and it, it puts a lot of uh, pressure right here, so when I have it on and I put this on, oh, it'll definitely pull and I can feel it. I don't have that big of a problem when I'm walking. I haven't had any issues uh, with, with it flapping around or anything. It just, it definitely feels a little bit heavy for how I'm using it. So that being said, like if you put something like this, so if I have uh, like my, some smaller lenses, like a 14, actually the 16 to 35 that I'm filming this with right now is actually a killer, uh, just all around, you know, landscape type, street type stuff. And with the 16 to 35 and the 5D4 on there, it's fantastic. If I throw on something similar and something smaller like this uh, 45, so now I've got this 45 on here, and that is a much more suitable combo for this thing. And there's a lot less uh, pressure, there's a lot less weight, 
and that's really more of what it's designed for. It's definitely the smaller the camera you have, the smaller setup you have, the, the more beneficial this thing is going to be. However, I don't want to deter people that have these bigger setups from something like this because it does work. I just think that you'll there'll be certain situations where you'll notice it. But if you're just hiking around with like, you know, your body in a uh, 24 to 105 or just a, a light uh, 24 70 f4 or something just, you know, normal uh, or prime lenses like this, you know, 50 mil something, then it's going to be a killer combo and it's going to, it just helps my back pains and my neck pains so much. And then all that being said too, they do have bigger models. They have their, I think it's their G3 harness, which is a, a double shouldered harness and that will hold any, any lens. That'll hold all the way up to your 600s, you know, your giant lenses with a 1DX2. Full pro body with a giant lens, that'll hold all of that stuff. But I haven't tried that stuff yet. This is the only thing that I've tried. Uh, another thing that they have that I would really like to try, uh, that is their, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically for the backpack straps and it clips onto the backpack strap and that clips on because I'm always wearing a backpack. So I would really like to try that eventually. I'll probably get one because that is behooving to someone who is backpacking and hiking and all of that stuff. However, this does work for that. If you guys saw that clip where I was walking over, um, I definitely I definitely don't have any problems wearing this and then putting my bag on. So I thought that maybe this would get in the way of the strap or feel weird, but it doesn't. I've actually done a bit of hiking like this and uh, I don't have any problems whatsoever with this setup and it feels really good. So if you had to use this in conjunction with your backpack, I would say it's totally fine from what I've experienced. All right. So another, what? Lightning? Oh, did you get it? Oh, that was cool. I hope you guys saw that lightning back there. I'm gonna have to set up a time lapse soon. So let's talk about one more aspect of the Cotton Carrier Scout that Cotton Carrier themselves are advertising and that I was very interested in, and that's mountain biking. So, well, biking in general, cycling, whatever. I do a lot of mountain biking, I do a lot of photography, and I do a lot of mountain biking and photography together. So I've been highly interested in having something where I can carry my camera out and just be ready and all that stuff. And I have had some issues. I've, I've been testing this, like I said, for about a month or so, and I have had some issues, though I will say right off the bat, they're not cotton carriers issues, they're my issues. And that is, I again, I think that the setup that I had when I first took it mountain biking was my 5D4 with, uh, with this guy. No. The Tamron 24 to 70, and this is a really heavy lens. This lens is like three pounds. Uh, and then when you pair that with the 5D4, which is a couple pounds, you're definitely pushing the payload capacity for this thing. And if you're just walking around, it's not that bad uh, because like I said, I've been walking around with this thing on there too and none of that's that bad. But the, the difficulties that I ran into with that setup with the 2470 and the 5D4 is riding like this, especially mountain biking when it's just a lot of unevenness. This is bouncing and it, it pulls on you and uh, even with this tightened down as, as far as, as tight as it could go, it just, it doesn't, uh, the gravity is just too much for that setup. And that's not Cotton Carrier's fault. Again, I don't think they advertise that you do it with something that big. Um, I would definitely say that the smaller the camera and lens you have, the more beneficial this thing is going to be. So if you have a mirrorless camera, uh, any of the Sonys, any like the Canon USR, the RP, uh, any of the smaller body DSLRs, they're going to be wonderful for that. And I just think that it's a little bit much for me uh, bike riding, but I did bike ride with the 5D4 and this 45 millimeter. That's definitely not my first choice for go-to lenses for when I'm biking, but it does a good enough job. 50 does a good enough job as an all-around uh, lens and I was able to like film some deer like this. I actually just stopped on my bike and filmed this clip and you know I was just riding and I just stopped and just kind of handheld filmed those deer like that. So that that kind of stuff was really cool. So it definitely is nice for the biking. So I would just caution you know watch your weight with your setup and how you're leaning forward and all that stuff because it, it will kind of bounce against you and hit your leg and, and that kind of stuff. 
All right, so one of the last things that I want to talk about, and this is like one of my, the reservations that I had about using this system, and this isn't going to be important to probably everybody. Like, I think a lot of people who are using this are going to be hand holding, you know, while you're hiking and that kind of stuff. That being said, though, I am a time lapse photographer and a videographer and all that stuff. I do a lot of things with my tripods. And one of the things that I always have attached to my tripods is the base plates, you know, so I have all kinds of different uh, base plates and for all my still stuff I pretty much use uh, heads that have Arca Swiss and the biggest concern that I had with this in particular I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so I can show you here's another wonderful thing is the stash pocket inside this thing so it holds their little Allen key so they are right off the bat it comes with two things it comes with this is what the this is what the uh, scout comes with, and this is all that attaches to your camera right here. So, but if you'll notice, I have a separate piece. So I told Cotton Carrier that I would be interested. However, I was really concerned about being able to mount things to my tripod because, again, time lapses and videography and all that stuff highly important to me, and I hate switching tripod heads, especially because this system requires you to use the uh, the Allen key and some people see that as a downside it's definitely annoying but I think to to maintain the amount of integrity that you want holding this system with these bigger things that's a very good thing to be able to tighten that down and know that it's not gonna come loose so I understand why they did that and I'm not gonna knock them for it but that being said that just created one more problem for me fortunately uh, cotton carrier did tell me that they have this new newly redesigned plate that is a tripod mount and it fits my Arca Swiss tripod heads which is fantastic so the only downside again is that's one more piece uh, it does work very well together so putting it on is not that difficult at all but it is one more piece so you have that piece and then they have this new integrated mounting head to where this thing just goes on there and this is like their little buffer thing their little padded thing and then this just goes right on top of it so that's pretty simple it's not that big of a deal there's pros and cons to this the pro is now i can use it with my tripods and not have to worry about it and i keep this thing on pretty much all the time and then when i want to clip it in it just sticks out just a little bit uh, farther there because of that extra gap. But then I have the ability to throw it on my tripod. The downside is there's obviously a lot more sticking out from the bottom of your camera. So it makes sitting it down a little awkward. Uh, I don't know if that matters to you, but I'm just, that's what I'm here for to show you guys what I've experienced. So I won't sit level like that. And then the other cool thing is this thing right here does have another screw uh, so that if you have another head like this one, then I can still put this on a different tripod head that screws in. So like my dual leveling tripod head here. And I use this head a lot because it can hold a lot more weight and it's much more stable than the ball heads that I have. So it's nice that it has that, but it does create this sort of awkward balancing looking thing, uh, but it is pretty secure. I haven't had any problems with integrity and I haven't been worried about it so far. So the tripod plate is definitely a huge benefit to me and I, I wouldn't want to use this system no matter what cotton carrier piece I had without that tripod plate. But again, that's just my personal preference because I use tripods so much for my photography. And then kind of the last downside of that, and it's not really a downside, it's just, it's a relativity thing, but it's price. Price is a relativity thing, I think. Um, this, I believe, is $79, and the tripod plate separately is like $30 or $40 extra. So depending on who you are and what your budget is and how much you're willing to fork out for uh, this kind of stuff, that could be doable or fine or it could be a slightly bit of a problem and you might have to save up for it I don't know but I just wanted to throw that out there so that you guys are aware um, just kind of a ballpark of what it would take to jump into a system like this 
for me, it's definitely been a huge help, uh, especially in my wildlife and hiking photography, especially, I mean, these woods are just like, you know, really close to my house and I just want to go out and walk sometimes and take a lens and do some birding or go walk around with my son or something. And, and this kind of stuff, it's really helpful for me. But if you guys have any questions about anything that I went over or didn't go over concerning this cotton carrier scout and how I'm using it and the tripod plates and mounting things and all that stuff, leave those in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them. And I'm also going to leave the links for this stuff down below if you want to check out their site and check out uh, this and everything else that they have. So that stuff's down below. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that like button if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Wow, that is getting dark. I think it's time for time lapse.